Hello and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. No problem. We got a spooky cave. I guess we're not the first to head this way. I suppose not. But what is that? Pox cap. I need to gather the crew, and apparently wow. some guy came inside here. For what? We don't know. Hey, watch out! Oh, cave beetle. Yeah. I just blew it up. Okay. Hmm? I clicked on the wrong thingy. <laughs> Maybe I'm just gonna go with AoE attack staff. Did it work? Maybe. Could oh, what? Uh oh. Yeah, there. Come on. Block them. Nice. Frost is gonna murder them. Alright. That worked out fine. Uh, let's do some looting. Hmm. Let's take it all. We can always just put it in the inventory. Wow, okay. More fighting. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Sure. Damn. Quite surprising. So where did that guy go? Cause seems like, uh, sure. Like, there are a lot of skeletons in here. Did he die? Oh, Revenant. Yeah. Weapons no good to me. Okay, that's pretty good. I like the fact that the effect goes away. Oh, some notes. Still no sign of Benvet. How much longer are we gonna wait? The vets already ruined half of our take. And get your stinking construct under control. It's been hanging out by that crystal. I swear it's been giving me the eye. Okay. Well, we could find the pistol already, so if someone wants to use a pistol, like that's gonna work. Good. Um lock difficulty. Watch your mechanics. Do I wanna pick the lock? I'm not so sure I want to. But maybe I want to. Got it. Okay. Sure. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Potion of minor healing. What? How could it be blue? I'm disappointed. It can never be blue. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Oh, more lockpicks. After him. Hmm. Oh, come on, don't get close. Oh, we're in trouble. Can we just knock him down? Okay, he's down. Can I knock him down again? It didn't work. We are out of special abilities. I hope nobody saw that. It's a bit slow. No, don't kill her. Wow. 
That's a bit annoying. Okay, the constructor's dead. What's a metal killing machine doing out here by himself in a cave anyway? Collecting his I don't know thoughts. what this is. Leave it to me. Thing next to their their face. Sure. So hammer and chisel. A rock. Sheep crew morale. Okay. Leave it to me. It doesn't paint things. Mail the mail the and that R looks about as good as it smells at this point. Mail the and Wortus. What? Sure. Line the wall amongst broken bottles and rotting wood. Hmm. Why not? Well, that's gonna be hard. What is that? That's actually pretty useful. Can I just Plane. open up someone's inventory? Uh, let's just loot that first. Fan of flames. Okay, who has that? Fortitude reflects will. I think we were just gonna. Give it to Adair. He should be the one. Wait a second. Can I change formation? Custom formation. Right click to modify. Uh, Adair goes first. That's the formation. So if we get into a fight, he should be the one who's in the front. Damn pirates. Andra, take your scabrous souls for fish food. Oi, Baldul! We were looking for you. Beodal. Still alive and calling everybody scabrous, I see. Well, now we got a bosun. Just need a boat. Adair. And I see that corpse we've been carting around is looking a slight more sprightly. Good to see the two of you, but mind your step. I've got myself in a spot of trouble. It's okay. Uh, the rescue is here. Then try to find a way past without losing a leg or getting a face full of poison. I can't bluff. Set off the traps prematurely with a few heavy stones. Oh, perception, mechanics. Can I just set off the traps? You wreck havoc upon the traps. To the tune of snapping metal teeth and clattering uh, darts. When the cacophony is ended, Beldu peers out from between his fingers and gives you a broad grin. Clever that. No, oh, it's a good thing none of them were of the exploding variety. Eld Ingram would have gotten a kick out of that, I bet. It's just bats and stinking corpses in this cave. You find anyone else? He gingerly sets his weight on his injured foot. Grimacing. Yeah, we got a campfire on the beach. Just go there. Then I'll head that way myself. See you on the beach, Captain. Great. We leveled up or what? Just take it. I'd carry more if I could, but I can't. Sorry, friend. I, sh I should be clicking on the stash. Okay, Watcher leveled up. Active skills? Oh boy. Can I improve my insight? Oh, passive skills. I can improve my insight. History, insight. I can't get rid of it. Okay. So either I go for it with Arcana. Adventuring is tiring work in addition to the hazards of mortal combat. Adventures and... Once per encounter. Wait, what it says? No, no, no. Okay, never mind that. Arcana covers the knowledge of all things magical that do not deal with... Metaphysics. In combat, it can be used to increase the power level of scrolls. Interesting. 
So probably I should go with Arcana. Seems appropriate. So I'm gonna go with Arcana and Insight. Metaphysics. I don't know, maybe someone else is gonna be the bluffer and diplomat. I'm just gonna go with inside. Just so we know what the hell is up. I can choose one more wizard ability. And there are some good ones. Like, Wizard's Double could be a really good one to save ourselves from dying. Cast Time of Slicken. I, as far as I know, that's a pretty good skill. There's also a pretty high damage skill. Yeah, Wizard's Double is a... Uh... It's a pretty damn good skill. To save our butt. Fan of flames. So I'm kind of... Undecided what should I go for. Because a lot of these are good. Wizard's double is good. Uh, Fan of flames is good. Slicken is good. I think possibly at this point Fan of Flames makes most sense. I can also go for this. Yeah, I can go for the passive. Wow. Gaining an additional weapon set. That's a bit extreme, isn't it? Do I always have two skills here? If so, should I pick up like a like Wizard's Double right now? But, because I think I will need that. Just to save my ass. I think I'm just gonna go for that. <laughs> uh, it's pretty important not to die. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna accept that. I'm gonna look at Eder. Who is good at intimidating streetwise survivor. Uh, let's... Go and pump his Intimidate. And Athletics. I guess we're gonna need a guy with Athletics. So... Let's go with that. Choose an ability. Could be anything. Could be dis Disciplined Barrage. Oh, he does not have those. The character becomes more fleet and nimble. Increasing stride and granting movement. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, we don't care about un unarmed. And I need to... S spend the points, I suppose. I don't care about weapon sets. Uh, yeah. Can run faster, disengage better. But I suppose the discipline barrage is just fine. Tactical Barrage. Yeah, that's a fine attack. I don't know. Cute. I don't know what to pick. I don't care about unarmed. And it's pretty likely that I can save up the points. And I already have knockdown, so I think it's gonna be the Discipline Barrage. Alright. Oh, let's just, let's just go next. Whoa. Oh, would you look at this? Oh. Huh? Can I just blow that up? Why not? 
Okay. Some good stuff. Leave it to me. See that. <laughs> Aggressive AI. I guess. No, no, no. Maybe the wizard shouldn't have an AI. Okay. Try something else. Oh. This weapon's no good. I have to one me. empower. Quick. Um uh, actually cancel. Let's do a uh, volley of missiles, I suppose. Not so bad. Yeah, we're gonna put things in the stash. Wait a second. That's another entrance. What is this? <clears throat> the waters here glow an eerie blue, and the cave glistens with reflected light. You can just make out an opening in the cavern, vault to the north west where the water flows onward the tunnel seems to extend a short distance before turning sharply but you cannot see where it leads i'm just gonna leave it and fully explore this cave before we go probably it's very close to being properly explored huh? i can't destroy it Leave it to me. Trap disarmed. Would you look at that? Seriously, trapped again. Breastplate. Yeah, I just keep looting. We'll figure it out later. So, Edder, I think you should be able to check this out. Send someone to scout ahead for air pockets. Swim through? No, 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 just scout ahead. Choose a party member? It's obviously Adair. Adair sets out at a good pace, cutting through the water with confident strokes. Nearly to the far side of the tunnel, Adair finds a space to come up for air, with a place to rest along the way. The swim should be more manageable. Okay, swim all the way through. Watch your only check? What? No. Uh, what if I try to swim through? Air pockets provide much needed reprieve as you make your way through the cramped waterway, you make short work of the journey. Did I? You come up into the into what appears to be another, a smaller cavern, where sunlight streams in from an opening in the stone. Okay. Well, we didn't get too far. Oh, some extra loot. Okay. Told him not to bring that thing in there. Didn't like the look of it one bit. But no, no one dare speak poor of his precious animancy tech. The ghostly figure paces the length of the small outcropping with quick, deliberate steps, mirroring to herself all the while. Her long cape flags with a wind that blows from the in between. Let's check this out. <clears throat> the in-between refers to the shadow world that souls briefly wander after death. 
on their way to the beyond. It has been described as a hazy landscape, empty but for the glow of other souls. Adra and uh, Watchers. This is the space that Watchers peer into when they observed and speak to lost souls and soul fragments. Even the gods cannot reach it. Special gift from his contact, he says. Now oh, it's acting all weird. Gives me the damn creeps. You feel it too, right? Like it's looking straight through you? She turns piercing purple eyes on you. She shakes her head and resumes her pacing. Came out here to get away. Couldn't stand it staring at me anymore. Then... Then... Oh, my memory's fuzzy. Anyway, you want a Ben with? I haven't seen you for, but he's been bringing all sort of new folks on lately. Can't hardly keep track. <laughs> Looks like the Brocks here did a number on your boat. Yeah, good perception right there. Uh, I think I remember something about a boat. Yeah, and some screaming. You're screaming. Look, maybe we should stick together. Feels right, you know? What with you being the only other thing around and all. I can give you a hand with, uh, spirity stuff. No kidding! I always wanted a ghost friend. And I've always wanted to be a ghost. Look at us, all in accords. We like two peas. I just hope you know where you're going, because I ain't got half a clue. <clears throat> Spirit tries to give you a friendly pat on the shoulder, but her hand passes right through you. Unperturbed, uh, she grins and walks along behind you. Uh, is it gonna be weird that a bunch of ghosts are following me? Copper pyre? Can I just get outside? You must gather your before venturing forth. Swim through. I need to get out you of this gather your party before cave. Forth. Yeah, I heard it before. What is this? Crafting? Why do I need a, a quick button for crafting right there? I don't. So, managed to explore quite a bit, but maybe I missed something here. I literally explored, explored everything right here. And we have uh, quite the party, so... The Yodel said you had to bail him out of trouble. Diverus? Was he crying? You can tell me. Right. Oh, quiet. You were under a damned barrel. Yeah, I'll just take that. What a mess. We'll be needing help getting the Defiant off the ground. Do you know anything about this place? We got turned around in that storm. Hard to be sure just where we are. So what do we do now? Not much chance of us moving the ship on our own. But we're in charted waters. There's bound to be a town nearby. I see. So, I saved them. Now I need to find the town nearby. That's fine. Maybe I should hotkey the new ability that they're uh, acquired. Okay, we lay a Villario's rest. And we don't know of any... Oh, we do know of... Port Maya. You know that's fork. Sure. Let's check it out. <clears throat> In the distance you see a simple wagon. The angle at which it rests on the road, one side jutting above the other, suggests that it has been damaged or disabled. Even from your vantage, you can make out kit uh, milling around it. Kit is used to describe the dominant civilized races of Eora. 
humans, Omanara, uh, dwarves, elves, orlans, and godlike. Sneak closer and observe. Let's check it out. As you near the cart, you make out a group of Red Seran pilgrims in rough spun linens and uh, cottons. A single draft horse stamps at the ground impatiently as two of the pilgrims argue over the front right wheel. It seems hopelessly stuck in the mud. Ambush and attack? Wow! I love that option! I love having that option! But let's just approach openly. One of the pilgrims notices you. Her step back draws the attention of the others, and the man in the well-worn gambeson steps forward. The weight of deep concern hangs on his face. Did the dreams bring you here as well? The other pilgrims look to you with a mix of apprehension and hope. I'm following Yotas. The older pilgrim's uh, mouth opens in amazement. You hear a gasp from another. They look to each other, excitement in their eyes. Praise him! The old man cries out. We are not alone! We had the dreams too! We saw the three stars sailing through the sky, piercing the black of storm cloud. Really? Figured it must be him, Iotas, calling to us. So we came here, to the place we saw in our dreams. The pilgrims uh, look around, m matching their sleeping memory to the present. We saw the giant pass with three stars on his bro butt. He sighs and gestures to the wagon stuck in the mud. Sad to say we could not follow him. Wow! It it's surely gonna be a little bit awkward to be a priest of Eltas. <laughs> <laughs> we are stuck as stuck gets. None of us are strong enough to lift that corner up to get something under it. More than any <clears throat> more than one of us tries and we just get in each other's way. The other pilgrims nod in stretch, suddenly remembering their aching bodies. Inspect the wagon, let me have a look. <laughs> <gasps> okay. A brief inspection reveals that the wagon is undamaged, but the wheel is stuck fast in the mud. We have some wood, the old man says as he gestures to the back of the wagon. If we can get the wheel up, we can slide that neat it. So the thing is, this is a bit of a dilemma. And it seems more of a dilemma than it might... It is definitely more of a dilemma than it it, it looks at first. Because <clears throat> these people need help, I suppose. But they are also very misguided. And they are about to go and uh, get murdered by Yotas. Who is possibly manipulating them, but maybe not. Inside the wagon you see several planks of wood. A small box of valuables sits to the side. One of the younger dawn stars look at you, eyes wide. Reckon you can lift it? Attempt to steal the log, log strong box. Now I'm not gonna attempt it. Attempt to lift the corner of the wagon. Okay, a watcher is gonna do it. You square yourself to the wagon's corner, squat deep, and rest the wheel from the mud with a grunt. A young Dawn Star stands in shock for a moment, but reacts in time to trust the thick board beneath the wheel. It takes the better part of an hour to lay down a safe pass for the wagon to roll free of the mud. You and the Dawn Stars. You've roped into your work, 
glisten with sweat, but they laugh happily, singing songs of praise for Iotas. Two hours passed. <clears throat> Smiling, their leader presses a small pouch of coins into your hand. We appreciate the help. Without you, who knows how long we would have been stranded out here. They begin to prepare their wagons as you take your leave. I gained 15 silver fennings. The old man calls out to you as you go. Take care of yourself and your soul traveler. Whether you came for Yotas or not, we know in our hearts that he has come for us. That is most certainly true. So, can I just like, travel? I can travel on the map. Oh, medical supplies, really? Fresh fruit. Port Maya. Okay, here we go. But these guys definitely know how to make some boats. I, I really like that lightsaber almost that uh, woman has. I can't point, I have no cursor. Hard to miss, <laughs> that's for sure. Port Maya, mid spring, my prima, 2000. Wow, really? 2823. Whole thing is explored. Port Maya trading post, governor's estate, Rinko's house, Port Maya jail, market, the crock and eye, clearly the local pub, like Soti, probably some kind of trader. Damn. Better see what that crowd's about. Yeah, sounds good. No problem. <clears throat> Anyhow, this is a great time to take a break, so thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.